the escape route up and uh, see what the brave new world was, <laughs> or the alternative was uh, they could uh, stay forever down in the launch control center. Wow. So uh, that was basically their choices. I understand that there probably was a rendezvous point that they kind of worked out uh, down in the mountains to the south, but uh, uh, that wasn't too well, uh, I'm not really certain about that part of the story. Anyway, uh, if anybody has additional questions, I'll give a try at answering them. Where did they stop using this? Uh, they stopped using the uh, Titan II in about 84 or 85, I believe it was. It was active from uh, 1963 to uh, about 1985, someplace in that area when they started to uh, take the sites offline. There's 400, uh, at that time there was probably a thousand or more uh, minute man missiles up in the northern tier of states. Now there are still 400 active sites up in North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming for the minute man missile, which was a solid fuel missile uh, versus the liquid fuel of the Titan II. Uh, the Titan II had became pretty old by that point, and uh, the minute man was a uh, more modern design even though it didn't have near the throw weight. It couldn't throw a uh, uh, warhead the size that this one was. Uh, the Air Force liked this because of the huge warhead that they could uh, put on it. So uh, it was kept in service. Uh, uh, it was originally intended for service for 10 years, but they actually kept it in service for more like uh, uh, 20 uh, 23, 24, 25 years before they took it off service. Mm. Uh, one other thing to note is that the uh, each of these missile sites, which are identical, there's 54 of them, uh, 18 here around Tucson, 18 around Wichita, Kansas, and 18 around Little Rock, Arkansas. Each of those sites are identical. The uh, uh, sites cost, I believe, around 11 million when they were uh, built in the uh, 60 to 63 time frame, and uh, the missile itself cost about uh, 2.6 million. So uh, that gives you an idea of the cost at, in the 60 time frame. You'll have to figure out what the inflation will make it in today's world. Are those other sites still there? No, uh, they once they took the uh, Titan II off of operational status, they basically destroyed all the other 63 sites. Uh, they would uh, remove the uh, some of the equipment from the site. They would uh, take the top, uh, the cover off of the site, uh, as there's a lot of steel in it. Uh, salvage some of that. They would uh, then explode the top 25 feet of the silo uh, and basically uh, then uh, push the debris and cap the silo then. And uh, so all the other 63 have been uh, basically destroyed. The launch control centers remain, but I think they blocked the entry. people have dug out the entry portal and made their way down or, or can access the uh, launch control center, but um, that's about all the main thing that remains. And once the missile was obsolete, the sites were obsolete too. They were yes, never, that's you can never use another missile. And, no, uh, yeah. no, that's correct. The Minuteman missile are a lot different in size and so there was no need for uh, maintaining these uh, sites at that point. Mm. Any other questions? I want to thank you for uh, your attention. When you, you're welcome to walk around the top, read the placards around the top, over on the, uh, where the railing is over there is a viewing platform so you can look down on the missile. And the shed over on the far side is the engines from the missile so you can get a closer look at that. Uh, when you're ready to depart, please uh, put your hat
hard hats in the bends outside and then exit through the uh, leftmost door up there uh, back into the gift shop. So uh, thank you very much for your thank attention. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Enjoy giving uh, the tour this morning.